Hello, you're watching the Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you some of the top stories from around the world. Let's take a look at the headlines. Delivery workers go on strike in Dubai. Indigenous land defender sentenced in Canada. 11th March for National Dignity held in Mexico. ArcelorMittal, South Africa workers go on strike. Food delivery drivers staged a major strike in UAE this week. The predominantly migrant workers launched their protest against the Talabat company, a unit of the German delivery hero. The strike began on May 9th with workers refusing to make deliveries in Dubai. Talabat drivers are demanding a better pay and working conditions. The company claimed that workers were earning 3,500 dirhams a month without specifying the hours worked. The drivers stated that despite working up to 14 hours a day, seven days a week, they were left with only 2,500 dirhams. This was after paying for fuel, the price of which has risen by 30% in the UAE. Workers are demanding a pay increase, leading to a total of $2.59 per delivery. This is the second strike by delivery workers in Dubai this month. On May 1st, workers contracted by Amazon-backed UK-based Deliveroo walked off the job. Unrest grew after the company announced that it would reduce the amount paid to workers by 15% to $2.38 per delivery. It added that it would also extend shift hours to 12 hours a day. Drivers are already bearing the cost of fuel, work visas and housing. They also condemned labour law violations including 12-hour shifts and the lack of severance pay and health insurance. According to reports, 400 accidents related to delivery drivers were recorded in 2021. The walkout was a landmark action given that independent trade unions, pro public protests and strikes are banned in the UAE. It was ultimately successful in forcing Deliveroo to back down and reinstate the previous pay and working hours. An indigenous land defender has been sentenced to jail for protesting Canada's Trans Mountain Expansion or TMX pipeline. The British Columbia Supreme Court issued its ruling against William George on May 10th. He is a member of the Slailwatuth First Nation. He was charged with criminal contempt by the Crown in January 2021. This was related to the breach of Supreme Court injunction order. The ruling barred from impeding access or physically obstructing the TMX terminal in Burnaby. The Crown prosecutor sought a jail sentence despite this being widely considered a sanction of last resort. The BC Supreme Court sided with the prosecutor on Tuesday sentencing William George to 28 days in jail. Protect the Planet's top TMX group has said that he is the first Slailwatuth member to be convicted for resisting the pipeline while on his ancestral and unceded land. In 2018, the Canadian government purchased the Trans Mountain Pipeline from oil giant Kinder Morgan for $4.4 billion. This included the expansion project, which would triple the amount of crude oil transported from Alberta to overseas. The TMX pipeline's projected cost has ballooned to $21.4 billion. If completed, it will carry 890,000 barrels of toxic and flammable diluted butumin from Alberta to Burnaby each day. The Squamish and the Slailwatuth First Nations have been resisting the project with support from activists and scientists. The project crosses unceded indigenous lands and 1,300 streams, making the impact of a potential spill catastrophic. Moving on, thousands of people marched through Mexico's capital on the occasion of Mother's Day on May 10th. Tuesday marked the 11th annual march for national dignity to demand justice for disappeared people. Affected families marched from the monument to the mother to the angel of independence in Mexico City. The demonstration was organized by the Movement for Our Disappeared in Mexico. People carried photos of missing relatives as they demanded that authorities expand their efforts to prevent enforced disappearances. Government data shows that nearly 100,000 people have gone missing in Mexico since 1964. 8,000 people have disappeared each year in the past five years. Tuesday's march also saw the participation of people from Central America. Their protests began in the border city of Tapachula, which is a major point of entry for migrant caravans. Protests were also held in other areas, including Monterrey and Ciudad Juarez. The government has stated that there are around 37,000 unclaimed and unidentified bodies lying in forensic services. Activists have estimated the figures to be as high as 50,000. 
violence and enforced disappearances have especially impacted women and girls. According to official figures, over 24,000 women are currently missing across the country. The increase in disappearances has been traced to factors including sex trafficking, domestic violence and widespread impunity. According to a UN report, as of November 2021, only 2-6% to of disappearances had resulted in prosecution. And for today's final story, South Africa's largest metal workers union, NUMSA, has launched a strike at ArcelorMittal or AMSA. Workers walked out on May 10th after a breakdown in the months-long wage negotiations. AMSA is South Africa's largest steel producer, providing 60% of the domestic supply. Its earnings reportedly surged to 6.8 billion rand in 2021. Globally, ArcelorMittal has made nearly $15 billion in profit. Meanwhile, NUMSA has stated that the lowest paid workers in the company are earning 7,000 rand per month. Striking workers are demanding a pay increase of 10% across board. Other demands include a housing allowance and 80% medical aid contributed by the employer. The union has called for the insourcing of temporary employees and an end to the use of labour brokers. According to NUMSA, 40% of AMSA's workforce is outsourced. The company tabled a final offer of a 5% increase. It also offered workers 2% of their salaries as a monthly amount in cash. NUMSA rejected this offer, stating that this cash payout would not result in increases in pension cover. It was also not an across-the-board increase. Workers were given a 2% increase in 2020 and the same hike was imposed on them in 2021. NUMSA has declared that the strike will be indefinite and will impact all AMSA plants across the country. And that's all for this episode. For more such stories, visit our website peoplesdispatch.org and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.